Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to some Creeper World 4. I gotta redo an intro because vulgarities are no longer included on, uh, or no longer allowed on YouTube. I'll talk about that later. Honestly, it's probably fine, it just means I need to fix my language. Fix my lingo and make sure I don't do it. I was talking to my manager, and he had specifically, uh, uh, like, an, I, I don't know how many of you guys are aware of this, but YouTube has recently changed its, um, monetization permissions. Okay, how do we... How do I shift? Shift is how I pause. That's what it was. Um, YouTube has changed its monetization permissions, so now you are no longer allowed to swear within the first 15 seconds of a video. And usually this stuff never affected me. You know, I don't swear that much, or at least I didn't think I did. Uh, but it turns out that uh, the language is a little bit more stringent than it was. Ugh. Uh, so now you cannot... Uh, you cannot even use... Uh, vulgarities referring to scatological. Uh, oh, there's a, there's one of these here? There's a spore launcher on this ma base. Honestly, this might actually be one of the easiest maps I've ever tackled, which is kind of amusing. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not much of a swearing guy, but YouTube's new, um, new regulations say that even, even like scatological refer references, uh, which I cannot repeat, I mean, I guess I could repeat. I think 15 seconds have passed. Uh, but either way. Uh, yeah, so I can't... Well, I mean, I guess I could say poop on camera. I'm pretty sure that's not actually considered anything. But you guys know what I'm I'm aiming for. But apparently, like, I have this bad habit of saying... Uh, you know, another word for that. Uh, at about exactly 13 seconds in uh, to a video. And I've gotten demonetized on a couple of videos. <laughs> for that already. And so I know, I know there's quite a lot of creators that are like kind of upset about this and you know, honestly can't blame them. Uh, it's it's kind of poopy. The, it's, uh, effectively what's happened is uh, the deal has been renegotiated against people uh, not against you know what people were used to. Well, I mean that is what it is. You know, it's been changed kind of retroactively so that you know, all videos that were safe years ago are no longer safe and a lot of people are pretty pissed about that and so my poor manager is talking about having to put out fires in that regard and yeah shell's shell's been trying to get me to like fully clean up my language for years and like i've done a pretty good job of it but uh you know there's still a couple words that i was a little lazy about excising from my vocabulary but now apparently uh 2023 is the year of the uh well, not using bad words, I guess. Uh, let's see. And like, it's fine. This this really isn't hardly an issue for me. I can see some other cre creators being like much angrier than I am, and much, uh, <laughs> uh, much more like impacted. Whereas I'm I'm just gonna kind of have uh, slight inconveniences here and there. Okay, I'm just going to flatten the heck out of this. I don't know why, but the, the terrain on this is pissing me off a little bit. Okay, so big deal here is even getting a foothold on this is going to be a bit of a pain. Luckily, we're in a position where we actually have an easier time of it. Um, right, I should probably get some uh, sniper rifles. Just kind of wherever, because this is going to get a little spicy. I'm I'm reasonably well insulated for a while. Let's see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of daisy chain these along. I'd love to, you know, stick to my usual gritty business. But if I'm planning on flattening a decent chunk of the landscape, can't exactly do that. We'll just put that there, at least for now. Uh, let's see. Shame we don't have a child-friendly version of YouTube of YouTube for the children to go away. Uh, this is yeah. So there is a child-friendly version. This is specifically because advertisers want everything to be as safe as possible. Uh, my assumption is most of the, almost all of this has to do with the fact that, uh, you know. Advertising, uh, advertising budgets are having some problems uh, with our current financial squeeze situation. 
And so advertisers only want their ads to be played on a truly safe vi uh, safe videos and media content. Even if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, like it'd be kind of weird for like a beer company to care. And maybe they don't, but uh, this is ultimately just kind of this, this weird... I don't even want to say it's a power play. Oh, you know what? We should just overload this thing. Um, it's kind of a power play. Just like a weird one. But yeah, if I can if I can actually take these out, the air sac cauldron, like this this little Achilles heel of theirs is going to go poorly for them. Oh boy, I got those missile launchers in at a good time. There we go. Or that some not safe work stuff on YouTube got marked as child friendly, so yeah, that's one thing to say very much about the platform is that like YouTube kind of sucks about management. I think ProZD put it best, where it's like I think it wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't retroactive and if they were doing a better job of getting uh, certain other ne'er do wells off of the platform um, for good. And like they kind of do it eventually, but not not very fast and not very well. Uh, let's see. And I don't want to talk specifics because that always gets stinky. Um, but it's like I'm I'm perfectly fine with like self censoring my language. Like I I'm not so wholly uh, wholly committed to saying X or Y words that I'm going to pitch a fit over it. Because uh, ultimately, you know, that has almost nothing to do with the content of what I'm even saying. It's just filler. Uh, let's see, can I... I guess I'm just going to have to scooch a number of these things in. We'll probably want some MRIFs, but still. Yeah, I kind of understand YouTube trying to be homogenous to minimize micromanaging, but retroactively applying rules is a bad way to go about it. Yeah, uh, and specifically, like, demonetizing loads of videos for it. Like, Google and YouTube make enough money that they could just take the hit on some of these and just be like, yeah, okay. You know, these videos don't even get that many views anymore anyway, so we'll just kind of cover the uh, uh, loss on your end. Dang it. The interesting thing is, uh, the one word that I can use freely, oddly enough, is damn. I can say damn as much as I want, for now, but who knows how long that's going to last. So, like, I could milk it and just, like, replace any time I say the word um with damn, but I don't think I should. Even though it's fun to say. Uh, and maybe if I said it too much, then I'd run into troubles. I really have no idea on the limitations. Uh, but... Frankly, when it comes down to it, I guess it just doesn't, it doesn't, it's not that it doesn't matter to me. Uh, oh shoot. I should probably actually leave this so I can, uh, I'll just move this as soon as it's built. Because I might want to put a nullifier here when I get the opportunity to do so. Yeah, damn and God are allowed because of re religious content. And hell. But even then, like, I'm not going to bet on it. Uh like long term uh, staying that way because who knows and once again I'm not that uh, committed to any of these specific words in such a way that not being allowed to use them uh, is going to change my day to day or even like really bother me that much okay right we've actually got space so I can get some mines down I know some people that are going to get uh, further impacted the, with this than... Oh, shoot. I should not have put that there. There we go. I may not be able to grid, but I can at least maintain the illusion. Kind of. I can keep the lines. Well, some of them. Look. Whatever. Okay, so I want to move this one to be right here because here's the thing I can get a note <laughs> well I lost the whole platform let's try that again 
and maybe get some more snipers pointed at it. Because I think we got a blob that effectively used line of sight to sneak through. Rude. COVID wants you out. Yeah. I didn't even announce that that's, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the, uh, oh, what would I call it? The prompt for this level is we're fighting COVID today. Ooh, maybe I should have actually left this. Eh, whatever. It does not help that there's a blob spawner right next to it. It is true. I'm going to try and rebuild this real quick. Uh, oh, wow. I just realized we've got, like, five. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna level everything up. It's probably better to go for build speed and move speed and all that stuff. I really do miss the old upgrades from Creeper World 3. I thought that was a better system than the urns. Um, but whatever. Okay, so this time I'm gonna try and get the nullifier down immediately because, oh boy, if I can nullify both of those, I'm gonna be a happy camper. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get another one of them in here, but you never, you never know. Okay. And while it's doubtful that it's actually going to save me, I'm going to get a sniper down. Maybe I should have gotten a gun? Uh, it's hard to say. I think I already have a missile launcher here, but I'm going to snag a second one. Oh yeah, I already had one, but it's fine. Because yeah, if I can, if I can nullify this before it pops, ugh, nope. I got seven seconds. There's no way that this sucker is going to be ready. It's close, but I think the air sac cauldron is going to pop right before. Yeah, there it is. Luckily, it just gets missiled to heck and back again. It did not die, though. Okay, I'm going to just start overloading these. Hopefully, we... Ah! Bah! Bah! Yeah, I knew. I knew. I knew. I absolutely knew that I should have put a, a basic cannon there. <laughs> uh, I deserve the things that happen to me, I guess. Let's put a couple of these here. Oh, we can actually get another refinery in this area, can't we? Perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep trying. We'll get it eventually. The Curse of the Tongue is real. Seriously. Insert swearing here. <laughs> Man, maybe I should just start saying that really loudly when I'm, uh, instead, like, just swear. Just absolute, uh, placeholder language. They can't, they can't stop me from saying that. Ah, oh, swear it. <laughs> I swear it. They got me again. Oh, I just realized this platform ain't getting any juice. Invective. Ooh. Hey, you guys want to go on the uh, suggestion channel on Discord and give me a bunch of placeholder uh, this swear it? <laughs> it just keeps leaking right here. Ah! <laughs> Fine. When in doubt, do the silly thing. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put a cannon down, and is this close enough for one of these? The answer is no. So, realistically, this is not the landing point that I think I'm hoping for, but meh. I'll just do what I can. <sighs> and then I'm going to build this up for reasons. Okay, good. It didn't take out the platform. Yeah, the problem is, it just, it kind of piddles right here, just like a smidge. It's just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Invective, though. That's a really good one. Okay, I'm going to put this one a little bit further back. I'm probably going to have to have another, but we need a cannon on the ground, otherwise this is just going to keep leaking down into the void. I tried to get into this game, but I never could manage the traction that Creeper World had for me. I love the dimensionality of it. Being able to see uh, the creep rendered in a three-dimensional shape makes my life so much better when it comes to um, 
figuring out, figuring out, I don't know. When it, when it comes to like looking at all of this stuff and, and really like wrapping my brain around it, having it be 3D is so much nicer. Like you can, you can tell how much creep is here. You could tell in Creeper World 3, but it wasn't, it wasn't nearly as much. They want some creative cursing. Watch Red Dwarf. They're not allowed to swear because of BBC. Uh, I just finished Xenoblade 3 the other day. And they had a bunch of their own... Uh, their own vulgarities. So they would, they would say Spark and Snuff. And like a couple other things like that. Uh... And it was actually honestly kind of charming because they'd have one character swearing up a storm, but it just did not feel the same way because, you know, it's it's fake swears the whole way down. Yeah, Beast Wars had slag. Honestly, children's uh, children's cartoons, just in general, and their ability to come up with creative alternate swears was always kind of fun. Show on, uh, show Blu-ray on Disney is a great source of substitute, substitute swear words. Say stuff like ah biscuits and such. Uh, watch it with my four-year-old and stop using swear words correctly and started using nonsensical stuff instead. It's more fun anyway, to be honest. Uh, like, I've, I've always kind of thought about that kind of, if we're talking long-term, uh-oh, or not? Maybe that was like a rogue missile or something. Uh, what was I? Oh, right, I was going to get an M-Rift down here on the edge. I'm going to, like, bankrupt myself, but it'll be worth it. Smeghead. I'm not sure if I could use that one. That's a little bit too close to, uh, fluids. Boy. Oh, because we barely have any green art coming in because I keep <laughs> I keep using it on these over here. Honestly, it's going to be worth it, though. Having this, like, giant fight platform ready and raring to just gun down up close might actually give me the opportunity to move in. We might actually want to try and take one of the plateaus. But even then, that's deep looking. Like, this is definitely one of those maps that I'm going to have the hardest time penetrating. Like I should, I guess I should speed it up. Okay, and you need an urn. We want this one to have an urn specifically so any amount of leakage gets dealt with before it ever comes close to becoming a problem. Uh, speaking of becoming a problem though, not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep this one alive. I'm going to do my best. That's like touching it, though. Which is a little bit of a worry. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to punch a beachhead here. But if there is a spot to build one, this would be it. Alright, how is this? Ah, it's still not done with the mine yet. Here, let's do nearest first. I need this extra income source. Stat. There we go. Last kind of gets in the way of the... of a couple of things, but it's fine. Alright, I'm actually... I'm actually seeing some... some land here. It ain't much, but I could potentially get a gun up in here. If I can... if I can just kind of penetrate here and push it back just enough... Or they'll all, they'll all blow up. We'll see. They all blew up. I need more guns. Let's uh. Eh. 
briefly rebuild our gritty business. I think something else blew up. Oh no, it was just the tower. Okay. Terraform Whoa. Uh -oh. I decided to do other things that I did not intend. Uh, let's move the missile launcher a smidge. I don't need to do any of this, but honestly, seeing as we're here and seeing as we're fighting COVID, we might as well just be kind of kind of tidy about it. Rude. We need some snipers. Oh, is Nightbot still advertising Ravenbound? I forgot to turn that off. Give me a second. Ravenbound. Delete. Alright, so let's take a look. So, first and foremost... Yeah, more or less, all of last week became... errands. And so I forgot to do a lot of, like, my base management stuff that I, you know, usually need to do. Just on a general weekly basis. Come on, boys, I believe in you. Keep it at bay. There's one. Bring the anger. There's the other one. Yes! Yeah, pushing it back. Then we've got this random schmuck that's just kind of chilling. He might die, but that's a sacrifice that... Yeah, I'm willing to make. Perfect. Alright. So we got that. Everything is feeling good. Let's take these. We're going to switch them to blueite. It's time to start slowly flooding this side of the base. With just, like, one of them. I don't think we need more than that. Ugh. Let's see. I've been wanting to get this game for a while, but it looks so complicated. It's actually, I would argue, maybe one of the more simple games. Uh, I just do play on some of the higher higher difficulty maps. So, well, I mean, higher difficulty for me. I'm sure top 1% players will probably disagree with me on some of my judge judgments on these things. But, um... Let's turn this on. We're probably going to want a sniper up in here when I get the chance. Huh. That sniper is actually just tall enough that it can shoot over that. Okay. Uh, so, I guess quick lowdown for people that have never seen this game before and are just tuning in. So, it's a tower defense game where effectively I have towers in a base that I'm kind of carving out a safe spot. This blue stuff is creep. It's evil. It'll destroy everything. Uh, it destroys everything that it touches, except for obviously its own, you know, structure, so emitters and blob nests and whatnot. Emitters are what generates the creep. Blob nests are these, like, little worm things that destroy your, your, um, that will destroy your structures. If unimpeded, air sacs summon effectively rain clouds that are jerks. Dark towers produce this dark stuff that cannot be built in unless I build, like, a beacon. Um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, there's the stash, which... Uh, if you saw it just kind of splashed it will collect creep in the immediate area and then uh, splash it all out as kind of like one big thing which is why you have so much motion going on here otherwise it just kind of stacks up forever uh, so what I'm trying to do is oh shoot this this didn't get blown up what I'm trying to do is get as close as possible to these structures uh, normally by like actually shooting my way in and clearing like enough of a space, but here I've got these kind of void platforms that I'm building up. Uh, and if I can specifically, uh, if I can actually build these up enough, uh, just along here, we can start clearing a space back away, if you notice it's starting to clear out a little bit. Uh, but I can also just straight up disable and then uh, destroy this dark tower and then eventually get up in here and go for these guys and so on and so forth. Uh, and so I'm trying to make little footholds. And if you notice, like, this is starting to clear out. There used to be a lot more creep on this map, but it's been dropping steadily as I've been pointing more and more guns at this whole situation. So next order of business, I kind of want to get up here and take it for myself and turn it into a nice forward operating base. Uh, and kind of scale up accordingly. Because uh, if I use this area up here, 
Uh, it gives me a great spot to put up mortars, and it's not really covered in creep. So if I can take it for myself, uh, then I can, you know, kind of defend it, put some power towers going out the side, uh, and then uh, replace all the cannons that I'm currently putting on here with mortars, which will actually do AoEs and really clear out the creep. There we go. But, yep, that was really easy. We'll take at least a couple of these and just kind of move them down here. They'll do better work in the vicinity. Uh, or they'll do better work down below. Okay. I'm just going to get a couple of mortars here for the time being. I want to leave the cannons on the edges here for now just because this has the chance of splashing. Uh, and so they'll keep all creep off the top. And now the cannons will kind of clear the immediate area. And now all of a sudden I actually have a lot more room to work with in this vicinity. So I'll probably want to get some guns down here next. And kind of take it for myself. Because uh, it's comparatively like a really safe spot. Uh, there's nothing that's going to creep up from behind. I can just take it for myself. Uh, other explanations, there are only a couple of different weapons on my side. We have the machine gun cannons, the uh, mortars, which are probably a little bit easier to tell. There's the sprayers. I have one of them right here. Their uh, sprayers are what are spawning this uh, white liquid. Uh-oh. That's rough. It took out one of my power towers there. Yeah, I need it. I need to get a sniper up in here. Uh, honestly, though, we can probably just move this guy down. Uh, so snipers will get rid of those blobs that I mentioned earlier. Missiles will get rid of, uh, spore shots, which are effectively their mortars. Um, I'm just gonna set that up a little bit. I think we're fine. Okay, so I actually, I want to hold off a little bit. How do I want to push against this? I kind of don't. I actually want to, I want to set up here if I can get in because there's this yellow stuff that will multiply my own creep if I can take it and so I think I'm just going to make a whole bunch of cannons uh, and do what is my favorite strategy which is just the cannon rush where you just dump a bunch of guns in an area and hope at least a couple of them survive uh, I guess internally I just always think of it as the far quad maneuver which I mean it pretty much liter literally is the far quad maneuver Let's see if that power tower will stay fit. I think it's good. I wonder how fast you can speed run the campaign. I don't know. Probably pretty quick, actually. My only immediate problem is that I have no real interest in in speed running. That requires a completely different style of play from what I do. I'm sure it's fine. I just uh I think I would get really bored speed running, personally. Like, I want to be, I want to be one of those people that, like, goes to, like, GDQs to hang out and do color commentary. I have no interest in doing it myself. That is, that is the extent of what I want to be involved in in speedrunning someday. Is just being the guy that comes out and hangs out and is like, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna kind of yuck it up while somebody else that is way better at this can actually do the speedrun. Because that is... I'm good, reasonably good at that kind of thing. Okay, so I want to see if I can scoot in here and take this stash. Because if this stops splashing, it stops spreading nearly as much. And then I can just kind of hold it forever. We want to get up here. Ooh. So there's one other thing I haven't explained. Notice how there's this network webbing. This makes creep travel along it a little faster. Facilitates its movement. The problem is that means it's intensely hard to build on and around because it will very easily um, it will very easily destroy the structures that I'm trying to uh, build in that immediate area. I think I'm just going to have to kind of ignore it for the time being. Let's get some mortars in to actually cut down on the uh, quantity. Guns are good at holding the tide. Mortars are actually good at removing it. If you notice, it's really pushed back since. Uh, but we want to see if I can honestly get up on top of this plateau uh, with a number of cannons and take out that emitter. Because if that emitter is gone, 
uh, the entire area becomes kind of barren. Okay. Uh, let's just take this one. And looks like that's good. Oh. So there's a couple other structures I guess I haven't described yet. That uh, that thing that disabled all my guns temporarily is called a skimmer. Uh, from the skimmer factories. They're these little zippy things. Okay, so we're, we are going to lose some guns here. But that's kind of inevitable. Okay, let's scoot that one down here. Because I think I can nullify the skimmer factory. Perfect. Unfortunately, the skimmers are going to go off before, but they might not actually trigger yet. It went off. It's not that big of a deal. And skimmer factory is down. We overload, which is not actually in the campaign mode, but it's luckily in these custom maps, which will destroy these for good. Uh, let's move this one as well. Because I think I can squeeze in another nullifier right here. Perfect. Yeah, I want to take this stuff. Because if I can hold this, the creep will automatically just duplicate on its own. And in that just kind of increases my overall spread. Oh, no. We don't want an urn. We just want these to be always on. There we go. Yeah. Gotta get... Oh, there's... Yeah, there's another skimmer factory right there. I'd do it. However, and I can put a... Now I can put some sniper rifles pointed more or less directly at it. Or they get blown up. You know, as you do. Alright, so how are we looking? Honestly, next order of business, I might actually want to try and put a bunch of guns onto this Digitalis Plateau. Not that I care, or not that I think I'm going to succeed at it, but if I can hold it, that gives me a good spot to nullify the emitter from below. Or not below, from above. Uh, unfortunately, I'm bottlenecking my energy a little bit. Building all of these guns is kind of expensive. Anyway, go say hi. Oh, did I never? I never overloaded that one. I gotta remember to actually hit that button. When and where I can. Also, thing I should probably build. I'm just gonna get an MRIF right in the middle of this. So we need weapon nullifier in a hot second. So far this I can put it. There it goes. Yeah, so if you notice, even though these are largely in dry areas, the digitalis is moving just enough to damage them, which is problematic. I'm gonna have this one shoot mesh. Oh, and we don't have any available. Where's my spare urns? I got a sniper here that doesn't need it. Ooh. Yeah, we're hitting some issues. I think if we can have this one gun that shoots... Okay, there we go. I think that's going to cut down on the damage a little bit. Balls. Try this? No, that ain't going to work. Yeah, it got destroyed immediately. Okay, let's try there. I should have at least enough guns that maybe they'll keep it off. I'm just going to throw some sacrificial guns on this. Digitalis is gnarly, man. Okay. Nullified, all we got to do is just overload it and then we're good. Speaking of, I guess I can get a nullifier down right there. There you go.
Oh, hasn't blown up yet. I have one of these guys on top of the mountain. It might get blown up, but if it doesn't, it'll kind of keep it safe-ish. There we go. That should work. Okay, these are nullified. That's almost done. Overload that. All right, and we're safe. So next order of business. Putting these guns somewhere a little bit more practical and then replacing them with mortars. Because, yeah, this upper area is way too valuable. And if I can take this and hold it, I'll be in a really good spot. Let's see. We're starting to make some headway there. Do we want to consider alternative? Spots? Yeah, the problem is the Digitalis is just in really stinky locations. Alright. I think honestly what we do... Is just start expanding hard here. Just wave by wave. I'm not even going to think about it. Somebody was, uh... Somebody was grumping at me. Uh, recently. Because I specifically don't move guns up from the back. It's because I'm, like, really paranoid that I'm going to overextend and get, uh, toasted for it. It's happened more than once where I try, where I try and do something bold, move my guns up, and then, uh, the whole line falls apart. So I try really hard to stay away from that kind of thing. Okay, we're also having a bit of a bottleneck issue. So let's actually get a pylon up in there. This is kind of fine. And yeah, the main problem is that emitter there is kind of barfing on me. Uh, let's see. Hold up. I'm going to try and put this here. I want to see if we can move this a little closer. Okay. I guess I can move some of these. If we've got anti-creep in an area, we probably don't have to worry about things falling apart quite as much. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Because, yeah, anti-creep will largely keep my towers safe. Not fully, but it's enough. Okay. Right. And then I do have these. I've been kind of ignoring this mountaintop because it's a pain. But if I just kind of line the whole area in mortars, maybe that'll solve my problems. Some of them. Again, let's get another sniper or two. We're losing a couple here and there, but we are making some headway. And a half. And I'll just I'll just probably slap down random guns in places. I don't really care about it being too well developed. I just I just need enough that I can kind of hold the line and push. Let's see. I guess if you're wondering why I'm not interacting with the UI and still pulling these guns out, ah, uh, it's just hotkeys. F1, 2, 3, and 4 handle the categories, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4 handle the, uh, the actual structures that I'm selecting. I don't really know if that needs to be said, but I figure in case somebody missed that. How do you raise and lower the terrain? Uh, so there's a thing called a terp that lets you do exactly that. I don't mess with it because they're 
they're uh, kind of slow. So what's the hotkey for pause again? I use shift, um, but shift is probably not the best. I don't remember what it used to be. It used to be worse. That's all I remember. Yeah, I use shift. Is it not just space? No, nah, space is cancel. Uh, so if you've selected something that you don't want, you cancel. I guess it could have been right click, but I think right click is for move? I don't know. Oh, it was P. P used to be pause. Yeah, it's stinky. I was never, I was never going to reach for that. Especially not in a panic when something's going wrong. No way in heck. I, I'm pretty sure Knucklecracker might or might not be one of those developers that largely does not play other games. And so, like, quality of life doesn't really factor uh, in the same way. And because this game has so much niche appeal, uh, it almost kind of... Or Knucklecracker, like, almost doesn't need to care. That even if, even if his game is, like, bizarre and obtuse, it's still going to do gangbusters. Uh, within the niche that, you know, he has created. And, like, oddly enough, it's... Every game, uh, that this developer makes is, like... I don't want to say it's, like, a conversion point for the others, but, like, for me, playing Creeper World 4 the first time was, like, oh, this is kind of a, one of those transcendent games, uh, that, like, I'm never going to be able to get enough of. Uh... And so after that, I immediately went back and played Creeper World 3 and, um, and Particle Fleet Emergence, both of which are absolutely stunningly fantastic games, uh, that I highly recommend. But, so it's kind of one of those who's just like, I am now a, con uh, a convertee? Convertee? I don't know. Uh, but I, I will gladly play every single Knuckle Cracker game that ever comes out at this point. Uh, because I know they're all going to be that kind of special uh, flavor of fantastic. There are not a lot of game series where you can say that's true. You know, it's like you'll play one Assassin's Creed game and you'll just be kind of universally used to them. And, you know, maybe the, uh, the novelty will hold for a while, but like, I've played maybe the first four hours of Assassin's Creed uh, four, and I thought it was, like, the worst game ever. I just could not get into it. But then again, I think that game is also panned as, like, one of the worst Assassin's Creed's. So... Yeah. It's interesting, Knucklecracker started Creeper Worlds as an online game on one of those free gaming sites. Yup. And it worked out for him. And yes, I have seen the new new game that is coming out, and I'm looking forward to it. For everybody that keeps asking me, please stop. <laughs> I I get I've gotten so many messages being like, "Have you seen the new thing?" And I'm like, "Yep, very much so." Okay, so let's let's see if I can actually. Hmm. Let's just scoot these guns forward. At this point, we've kind of kneecapped them. There's still a couple of emitters, but they've lost all of their momentum. I just do too much damage. There we go. I have one more of these. I'm just going to scoot them a little closer. Kind of daisy chain. Because we might as well push that off, clear this area out, so it can just become mine. Except for that one. We might have to worry about some missile launchers deciding that, uh... Or not missile launchers, spore launchers deciding that they want this area back. Which, like, that could actually mess me up a little bit if I'm not particularly careful. Though the anti-creep will kind of keep that off. Okay, so terraform. Let's just uh raise this whole area. I 
But I'm curious, like, I'm sure there's a lot of people that will bounce off of these games, but I'm kind of curious if there are any other genres or specific developers that have such a high conversion ratio um, for their products. Like, the only thing I can think of is kind of sort of... Um, super giant games like once you've played one super giant game you'll generally generally uh, want to play every super giant game i don't know if that's going to hold up though because like i know going from bastion to pyre a lot of people jumped ship and then um or no bastion to to transistor to pyre like there was there was some loss there i'm sure with hades though they can probably keep going um and kind of keep pushing that one endlessly and have that do really well. I don't know. I'm curious. Because I'm honestly having a little bit of trouble thinking of developers that, like, if they put out a game, I would unquestioningly buy it. I mean, okay, maybe I'm not the best example here because I will, I will buy and play practically every game past a certain threshold of good. Um, but a lot of that also has to do with, like, it's kind of my job to do that. Let's see, isn't Last of Us like that? Or God of War? I don't know, I think those are a little bit more divisive. Uh, like, I think everybody can appreciate Naughty Dog and Sony, Sony Santa Monica for what they've done, but I don't think those have, like, a 100% conversion ratio, or not 100% conversion ratios. Um... Ah, uh, Monster Hunter. There you go. And maybe from software. I think those might have a little bit harder of a time of a hook. But no, that's probably the same with Knuckle Cracker now that I'm thinking about it. Like, this is not going to appeal to most people, but if you get... If you get hooked on it, you stay hooked on the whole series. So, Souls. Souls games. Maybe Zelda? I, I think if Zelda went all Breath of the Wild forever going forward into the future... I think I probably would actually deconvert from being a Zelda fan. Not that Breath of the Wild is bad, I just, like, that is a flavor that I am not in the mood for often. And so, like, I'll play Breath of the Wild too. But... If they did, like, Breath of the Wild 3 and then 4, I think I'd probably be like, oh, okay, I need some, like, legitimate dungeon stuff. But yeah, I could see Zachtronics games being kind of one of those conversion things, though admittedly I still have to go back and play like half of them. You will buy every Mass Effect game. I don't know if a lot of people would agree with you on that one. Maybe? Like I saw Mass Effect Andromeda for six bucks the other day and I was like, oh, maybe I should pick that up on my PlayStation. I legitimately have no idea if I did or didn't. Uh, I don't think I did. But I had like a long pause where I thought about like, is this worth it? Like I also saw Anthem for a dollar and I was like, yeah, I don't actually know if that's worth it. I think I still would like to actually play through. Um, I think I still would like to play through Anthem someday just so I have the footage from it. Just because it feels like being able to talk about Anthem uh, you know, for years to come would be important from, like, a, uh, content creator perspective. Like, it feels like Anthem is probably one of your perfect, uh, I don't want to say it's, like, a touchstone game. How would, you, uh, how would I describe it? Canary in a coal mine, but not really. Effectively, games that, um, developers kind of need to pay attention to, uh, as kind of a warning. I'd even say, like, uh, Cyberpunk kind of falls in that category of games that, uh, flew just a little too close to the sun. Or tried to, at least, fly a little too close to the sun and got burned bad for it. Let's just, uh, flatten as much of the green arc junk as we possibly can. There we go. I rotate this. No, whatever. It's fine. I don't think I need this much energy anyway. I'm not even sure why I'm being this aggressive about building this up, but whatever. It's fine. I need to give Cyberpunk another shot. 
I've just been kind of... I don't want to say, like, iffy on it. Uh, I just don't think I have enough time. So what's green R used for? So I gotta harvest it with a refinery. Um, but if I start harvesting it, it gives me green R, which I can use to make these platforms. Or we can go here, uh, and build rockets. Which I guess I should do. I don't care too much for rockets on this map because I didn't need them. I don't really know how many rockets I even need. Okay, I'm going to switch this guy to mesh. We want him to clean up all the mesh so it doesn't travel. Uh, cuz I want to get a I want to get a nullifier up in here. And if that mesh is blue, it's going to it's going to travel a little bit. Let me take all of these. Just every every single last one of them. Really wish there's an easier way that I could swap these. To be honest. We're just going to go for a lot of blue eye. Blue eye is used to make anti-creep. Wow, that really upticked my uh, income. And now we're just going to get a boatload of sprayers. I'll just put them here. It doesn't really matter. Because sprayers, instead of just being like guns where they'll just shoot whatever, you can actually just have them shoot forever and they'll just start flooding the map. Uh, at which point I can just kind of take everything for myself. Okay. There we go. Start overloading that sucker. Uh, let's see. Not that it matters too much, but let's get let's get some sniper rifles down. Okay, so this this area is shockingly actually still kind of deep. How do I deal with that? I mean, easy answer is take the take the plateau. Where are you? Okay, you're hyper-focused on mesh, and this whole area is reasonably clear already. So if I just get this up, I can hold the whole area. Okay. This is looking reasonably good. And he dead. Damn it. I foot mouth they are one one in the same there we go hopefully that sniper rifle will be able to kind of deal with some of these things uh, and you know what how much oh I've still got plenty of anti creep just generating so let's let's turn this on holy smokes I've got a lot of uh, orbitals already yeah, let's just, uh, let's just flood this area. Eh, now it's running out a little bit, but otherwise it's fine. So how do we, how are we taking this? I mean, honestly, the real answer is I probably could just go chill out and, uh, let the anti-creep flood the map. I'm, I'm kind of curious. It wouldn't be the most practical thing to do from, like, a, a time perspective. But I... Bet if I just left this running for a while and came back, uh, the map would just flood with anti-creep, and the creep would just look really kind of pathetic. Which would look real silly. Ah. I gotta deal with that guy before I can do anything else. That's fine. More blue-eyed. I want to flood the world with milk. Yes, that's what, that's how they call it where I'm from. My anti-creep now outnumbers the creep. So it does! Ooh. I always find it funny when somebody tries to get like really angry about dialects to try and correct me on like, no, it's pronounced, uh, shoot, what are various dialect words that I say differently? Milk is one of them. Roof. Roof is another. I know that one. Debris. <laughs> I mean, that's just... That's just me being cantankerous. 
Rune. Rune is one that you say that bugs me. Yeah, but that's that's how it's pronounced. That's how my people pronounce it. Okay, let's just connect a bunch of this stuff. Unless it's got like a emi an emitter tied to it, it's pretty much just toast. And I can just take it for myself. I do kind of hate that it took this long for me to r recognize the majesty that is anti-creep in this game. Do you pronounce it pronounce it as either or either? I you know I have no idea how else you'd pronounce either. Either? Either either. That's probably it. It will die on the hill that is people mispronouncing pasta as pasta. Ugh. Yeah, I'll join you on that hill. That's that's a little too weird for me. Man, look at all this whole dang area. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna take this little lad over here. We want to kind of take this yellow edge if I can actually select anything. Oh, but I can't. I can't do anything because of the dark zone. Oh, I I still have this thing. Yeah. 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 Let's go park it over here. Egg in the corner. It's stuck. Yeah. It, it can't quite pop, and there's nothing. I, I wonder if it actually will just stick around there. Yeah. I didn't even notice we had a. Uh, a yellow anti-creep border going on over here. But if I can take it for myself, though... Okay, how are we doing on the... and uh, the sprayer situation? Eh, reasonably well. I'm gonna get more, though. If I have any anti-creep left in the tank, I should be spending it. Tomato, tomato. You haven't really heard of anybody saying tomato intentionally. I can I actually just turn this thing off? There we go. As funny as it is to have that singular egg, uh, my anti-creep's never going to be able to fully grow. Well, it is there. Might actually have to park a gun on it. Just move that there. That'll do it. All right. So next order of business, park a nullifier up here. Okay. Get this boy. He can move. He has done his dark diligence. Okay. Move him a little bit so he doesn't get cooked along the way. There we go. Never understood as Washington being pronounced Washington. What? What? Wait. That's a... That's an odd one. Okay, fine. We'll just prep a couple of guns here. Honestly, maybe we'd prep a couple of sprayers. Oh, that was... Oh, no, there was a mortar that got destroyed. Oh, right here. Wait, what? Eh, whatever. I probably just overextended. I don't think any of it. Oh, right. I need a, uh. I know what I need. I know why I keep losing things up here. Because I don't have any snipers. In this immediate vicinity. There we go. 
That should keep this area clear. Yep. Absolutely skunked. Nullifier. Okay, then I'll just get some mortars. Nullifier is going to take it out momentarily. You may think you can survive, but that's silly. Okay. I'm going to get another... I'm going to move my sprayers over here. I want them to kind of flood this mountaintop so we can feed into this yellow area. Because if that starts just producing stuff for me, then easy. Uh, other things I can do... And I'm, I'm definitely being kind of slow here. It's kind of fun being slow. Move that in. Just get some power towers up in here. Overload that. And then get an another nully. How would you guys feel if I just started calling my nullifiers nullies? Just started adding Y to everything excessively. Nully. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's um, let's do a singularity. I'm gonna kind of steal their thunder. Seven ways to Tuesday. I think that's good. Get another singularity. I got 39 orbitals. Like, I don't know how this happened, but it's time we start dropping some potatoes on stuff. There we go. I'm just gonna turn this into... Conversion Central. See all those eggs? They're mine. I said they're mine! See? The eggs are now mine. And then, I guess honestly, if we just drop some rain on this, that should go away. And that is how you largely destroy a thing without even getting close to it. Heck yeah. We're probably gonna have some worms shortly and... Did this get nullified? That got nullified. I don't know if there's like another spore launcher that I've missed, but none of it matters. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to destroy all of my nullifiers? Do you think you even can? Do you think you have a chance? Nice worms, bucko. You cannot stop me forever. You're in the drink. Oh, there's another enemy somewhere. Uh... I'm just gonna overload that one. I think there's a, uh, spore launcher that I've, like, completely missed in... Milk Hell. Where is it? Oh, wait, no. It's not that I've missed anything, we've nullified everything. It's this thing. I hadn't connected that. <laughs> overload. Die! <laughs> Die! <laughs> All of these nullifiers are gonna take forever. Oh, god. The amount of power is actually causing the game to chug. <laughs> okay. That worked. That was fun. I think we should do a play as a creeper map after this. Are we missing another? Oh, we're missing this totem over here. I'm so glad they're highlighted for my blind eyes to see. It'll take a moment. Oh gosh, because it has to go the long way around because I didn't connect anything because I'm kind of a yutz. That's fine. Now, how many of these nullifiers are actually going to manage to overload? All of them. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. 